Good morning, everybody. It's 20 to 8 on Thursday morning. Thanks for joining us here on The Morning Show. Opening tonight at the Bloor Hot Dog Cinema, Adopted ID tells the story of Craig. Born in Haiti in 1979, Judith was left in a ditch just three days after her birth. She was adopted by a Canadian family and lived a regular life in the GTA. Then, as a young adult, she returned to Haiti to ask important questions about her own identity and the issue of interracial ad adoption. Take a look. But when I look at my birth certificate, you know, it's, it's in French, and my French is not very good, but it says that I was born on the 12th of October, 12 October, 1970. 1979, they have no time. It says I was born in the hospital, Hospital Justine in Capicien, that I was a girl, and I believe this says de parent in connu, which parents unknown. How can you be born in a hospital and have your parents unknown? And Judith Craig is here, as well as the filmmaker Sonia Godding Togobo. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. So, Judith, I was watching your face as you were watching that clip, and it looks like it's still hard for you to watch that. You were inhaling deeply. What goes, th what goes through your heart when you watch that? It's always really difficult because it's just the unknown, and it's such like a vacant sort of empty space that can never be filled until I, you know, those answers and I think every time I look at that birth certificate it's so poignant because you know it says I'm born in a hospital but I have no parents so it's very contradictory um, so it's really difficult to just have this big question mark for your whole life at what stage of your life did that become such a, a need to find out I've always been really curious to find out and to sort of know more about my history, know more about my birth family, know more about Haiti. Um, so I think really from the time I was very young, I had this desire to know, um, but it was really probably in my teens, I would say, that I started to really want to know more, right. think about going actually back to Haiti and searching. And then as I got older, sort of through university, um, and then moving away, actually, I moved outside of uh, Toronto yeah, altogether, yeah. and that's when I really started. I think more and more the desire just kept growing really. It became that burning passion. And Sonia, how did you become aware of Judith's story? We met through a mutual friend in London. had moved to London and Judith was already there. And a mutual friend said, oh, there's a cool chick from Toronto that you should meet. And um, we just met one day and we hit it off immediately. Um, it was just nice to have a familiar accent in London and a familiar face. And um, when she told me her story, I said, oh, yeah, I have to make a film. If you're going to go to Haiti and try and find your parents, I have to go with you. And that's how the film began. Did you have any reservations about that? Did you think perhaps, well, this is very private and very personal for me. I don't know if I want a film on this. Definitely. That was sort of the number one thing. It's like, do I want to really put myself out there that much? Um, and it was scary. It was daunting, definitely. Even today, I'm thinking, oh, gosh, when it screams tonight, all these people are going to now story you yeah, know yeah. and this journey that I've been on but I think for me I sort of looked at that I need to tell my story. I want other adoptees to hear my story and hopefully it can help them so I sort of put that I guess as a first priority and I thought I have to sort of okay take my own feelings and sometimes put them to the side but it was daunting definitely yeah. when we were there and kind of going into it with a camera following you around how did your parents tell you your own story in the beginning did they, at what age did they start to give you your background? I've always known I was adopted, which I think is so important. Like, I grew up with the story, so it was my mom, you know, used to tell me literally when I was a baby in arms. Um, it was like a baby, you know. Um, and obviously, as I got older, certain elements they had to add in as I got older and could handle more of it because yeah. it is quite sort of shocking to the system when you hear you're in a ditch with bugs on you and it's quite sort of Do you look raw. at that? I, I can't imagine. Do you almost, do you just feel heartbroken for that person? Almost like an out of body, like this baby. Yes. It's funny because now I think, oh gosh, oh yeah, that was me. And I think when I tell other people, that's when it hits me that, oh, this is quite a, I guess, um, a traumatic event. But sometimes, yeah, you, I've removed myself from it to a degree, definitely. Just be some self-preservation. Yeah. So it, some must have known going to... Mm -hmm.
would it, it would be the proverbial needle in a haystack mm -hmm. search, Absolutely. wouldn't it? Absolutely. And without giving away, the, the is there a resolution? Absolutely. In the Absolutely, there's a resolution. And sometimes you, as a filmmaker, you don't know what the end of the yeah. you know the journey will be. So you have to think about things from different perspectives. And sometimes even what you think will be the best conclusion, something happens that's even better. So yes. yeah. um, I feel like the film definitely has a resolution right. um, for Judith, for myself, and for I think most of the audience. And your adoptive family is interracial? Yes, I've got, um, well, my parents are both white, um, white Canadian. They had three biological children and then adopted myself and another boy from Haiti as well. So there were two of us black people in the family and then the rest of them were white. So it was sort of always that double take. Oh. You like an us and them? Uh, I'm, within my immediate family, no. It was very sort of inclusive. They're very loving. My mother's like the most fair person. It's like, if you get, then you get. And it was never within my immediate family that I felt sort of different in that sense um, growing up. But other people obviously looking in are always sort of, hmm, quizzical and what's going on with that family? Mm -hmm. So we were very much known as the Craig family with this multi racial sort of tone to us. You're a social worker. You work in the United mm -hmm. Kingdom. Yes. And in your spare time, you counsel families with inter adoption yeah. issues. But if this hadn't happened to you, you would never have been put on that path, likely. Definitely. Sometimes you have to wonder about, don't you, how, how these fate and how these things happen and did it happen for a reason? Definitely. I really feel it's interesting because people have said that to me over the years and I've been like, oh, at first it didn't even hit me, but even going to social work, interestingly, I wanted to be a journalist. So yeah. um, I was heading down that path and then I just felt a pull to social work. Mm. And I do believe that with my experience and my background, I can assist other adoptees, sort of the whole adoption triad, the adopters, uh, birth parents and adoptees. Yeah. I th and I think it's important that adoptees are there to share and can help sort of um, sort of guide them through the process, which I think is is really important. Well, it's made you a more empathetic person. Definitely, right? yeah, I would say so. And when you speak, I'm sure they listen. Yes, it's been it's been good. It's been nice, sort of, I guess, having my voice be heard and just share sort of the experiences because there's a lot that comes with it, and it's important that that message out there to people. Do you feel more rooted in something? I definitely. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, I fell in love with Haiti when I was there, and I, you know, I feel like that's home. I feel like Toronto's home. I feel like England's home as well. You know, it's sort of this mirage of places now that well, I, I can claim. I was wondering, as we've been talking, in a way, you get to feel like you are the master of your own destiny because, mm -hmm. in a way, no one's saying to you, "You are this family," and it's uh, by no means am I suggesting it's not absolutely mm. heart wrenching, but you now are the citizens of all these people. Yeah, definitely. And definitely. all these places. It, it's a fascinating story. And uh, it premieres tonight. It premieres tonight at the Bloor Hot Doc Cinema at 6.30. All right, you'll yes. both be there? Yes. Fantastic. Sonia, Godding, Tagobo, and uh, Judith Craig, thank you both so much for being thank here. Thanks for having us. The film is called Adopted ID. We're going to take a break. We'll be back in just a moment. Good morning, I'm Kimberly Fowler with Global One Traffic. I've got a look here at the gardener making your